Hi everyone! I know it's been so long. Um, I think it's been, let's see, August, September, October, November, December, January, five months So since I've done a video log. Um, I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. I have been watching and commenting on everyone, um, but I just haven't really made the time to sit down and, and do any vlogs myself. So um, I am uh, doing a round right now, so I am in the middle of my round. I'm on uh, VLCD, uh, or yeah, VLCD 15. Um, so I'll just you know do a quick update about that. I think uh, I don't know, like I I'm not really sure why I kind of fell off the wagon as you would say I, I don't really know I, I kinda feel like every time I get to P3 and I you know I've done great in P2 and I stick to it and I you know rarely ever like you know have an issue um, that I, I get this like I'm skinny feeling and then you know once I have that then I have this oh well I'll just I'll just try a little bit of this and then I'll just try a little bit of that and then I gain and I don't do the correction right away or I don't do the correction at all and I'm you know like in this mindset that I can do it without P3 well clearly uh, that's not the case so um, I am back on HCG and you know I, I talked to my husband and he really wants this to be my last round so um, he did it with me which he did not need to but he's actually done he did a short round I'm doing a, a long round um, he actually just today is his last um, low calorie day without um, injection which is another thing that we're doing different this time or that I'm doing different this time normally I um, was doing sublingual drops and I just decided to try injections this time which you know they're not bad same thing I, I'm kind of getting you know the same results so good to know um, but I started at 171.0 uh, and then after um, after loading I was at 175.2 so that's you know normally where I start counting down because that's still weight that you have to lose. Uh, I know some people start from like their actual start weight but um, so I had you know pretty steady losses um, I've pretty much been down every day you know on average one pound um, so today's weigh-in what this morning I was back in the 150s which is so discouraging to say only because you know in August I was 138 so I could have been starting from 138 and you know going from there but you know it is what it is so um, so today 159.8 so I am down um, actually I didn't even add it up so I don't know close to like 15 pounds or something um, so yeah averaging a, a pound per day because this is VLCD 15 um, I did make little goals this time you know in my book so I can write like yay oh Oh, the camera, sorry. They're gonna write, yay, like 162, okay, smiley face. So, um, so that's good. As far as measurements go, um, all of my numbers have been going down each week. So, you know, just a note out there to, to some of you guys who are new to HCG, um, you know, you may have a day that you don't lose any weight, but that's probably an inches day you know, pounds and inches, so, um, you know, I did, in, after my first week, I lost three, um, three and three quarters inches, and then this past week, I lost five inches, so, I'm definitely happy about that, I purchased a lot of clothes before my wedding for my honeymoon, and I was 138 at the time, so, I, um, don't have a lot of clothes to wear, and I refuse to purchase larger clothes, knowing that I can get down to that, um, to that weight that I was at, so, my goal was 135 originally on my last round and I didn't make it, you know, by three pounds, but it's three pounds, you know, like I wasn't stressing over it, I was getting married, so I had a good time, had a good time on my honeymoon, we went on a cruise, obviously, you know, it's all you can eat, which kind of stinks, but we did try to, we were definitely in the gym every day and running every day, so, um, you can only do so much, I feel like, on a carnival cruise, but um, it was a good time, and so we just had our three-month anniversary, yay, newlyweds, um, but other than that, I mean, things have been going good, I've gotten some great new recipes, I, I make this amazing chili, and I'm not sure where I got um, the recipe from, but it's, I mean, super easy, it's a little off protocol as far as like, you know, rogue, I guess, protocol, um, 
but not by much. I mean, I do really lean um, protein, so whatever you choose. You can do chicken, turkey, ground chicken, ground turkey, ground beef. You know, just make sure that you're getting the um, lowest fat ground beef that you can get. Um, then I saute some onions. I've been using fresh garlic this time because um, I felt like maybe the glass jars of garlic maybe had some preservatives or something. So anyhow. Um, yeah, so I did, uh, and, and then, you know, just spices, just spices that are on protocol, and then diced tomatoes, I blend them up in the magic bullet, and then, you know, put them in, in with the chili, and then it sits there for 20 minutes, and it's done, and I can use it, you know, for a couple days, so it's good as far as preparation goes. I've also been eating, um, I decided that we were going to go out last Friday, so we went out, and uh, we went to Outback Steakhouse, which is great. Um, they have lots of options. You can order light style. You know, you can order a lot of different things. So, um, but I do love their ahi tuna, their seared ahi tuna, and I and I found frozen ahi tuna at um, you know at the store. So I make it just like they do at Outback. I do salt or pepper, corn, um, pepper, sea salt, and then. Um, and then a little bit of garlic, which I don't think they put on there. And then literally I, you know, rub both sides. And then I sear it for about 45 seconds on each side, slice it up, and it's just like Outback. So, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that discovery because I like, I, I do better when I eat fish. When I eat tilapia and, um, you know, shrimp and stuff like that. We did crab legs the other day. So definitely been getting more, um... I've definitely been getting more uh, involved as far as the cooking goes because I just get so bored, you know, so I'm always like trying to find something. Um, yeah, so another discovery that I made was at the, um, I know a lot of people talk about the Miracle Noodles. I ended up buying those from Amazon. I thought they were disgusting. Like I thought they were terrible. Um, I don't know if it's because I tried to make it like a spaghetti and so there was a red sauce, like a marinara sauce that I made with them, but they just were not doing it for me. My husband, on the other hand, loved them, so, you know, needless to say, but they're just a little expensive. Um, but I did find at the health food store kelp noodles, so K-E-L-P noodles, and it's literally just water, the ingredients are kelp and water. And so I tried those and I had great losses, you know, like I had, you know, haven't had any issues. I've been eating some uh, French style green beans, which they say is, you know, if you're going to eat green beans, it's better to eat those because they don't always include the bean. So, um, so that's good. Haven't had any issues, you know, as, as far as that goes. I am, um, we are having a, we, me and my husband, we coach all-star cheerleading, like I've said before, and we are having our team do a sleepover on February 10th, and we're ordering them pizza, so I'm planning on that day to have a piece of pizza, but, you know, it's funny, I, yesterday, I don't know, I felt like I needed something, like, oh, you've been doing good, like, I need something, so I went to Sheets, and I'll do this, and I'll, like, look at the menu, you know, the computer made to order, and then I'll be like, no, nothing, that's not good, I'm not going to get that. And then I'll look around and I'll read ingredients for like 30 minutes, like I'll just walk around sheets, and the people who work there like probably think literally that I'm crazy. So, um, yeah, so then I, I'm like, okay, well, I'll just get some gum. You know, because I just feel bad. I'm like, it's not worth it to gain that pound that you're going to spend two or three days, like, trying to get off, you know, get back off. So, I don't know. I just, you know, this round I feel just as dedicated as I was first round, which was literally, like, you know, no cheating, no planned off protocol, anything like that. Um, I do, for those of you who, you know, haven't watched my older videos, I do use um, the coconut oil. I do have chocolate delight, which actually I've lost a taste for this, this round. I went to eat one and I was like, no, this is not good. But I do still eat the lemon truffles, so, you know, every once in a while. I've kind of been cutting out Melba here and there and then cutting out fruit here and there just to kind of see, you know, what the difference would be. But, yeah, needless to say, I'm down, you know, on average a pound a day, um, which is mainly what, what girls lose. I've had two days um, with gains. One, I gained 0.2, and one, I gained 0.6. And the day that I gained 0.2, I'm not sure, you know, what that was day four. I, I have no idea. Um, I didn't eat, you know, off, off the plan or anything, but, um, that other day where I gained 0.6, um, 
I had like a really great dinner and and it was early and then my husband went out for his friend's birthday and he brought home some extra shrimp so I ate extra shrimp at like 1030 so I know that you know there's supposed to be like a certain time between dinner and and lunch or sorry but dinner and breakfast um, and so maybe I just ate too late I'm not sure um, but anyways no apple days yet so hallelujah um, but I guess that's all for now um, you know I'll try to do some more updates I feel bad because I haven't been on here but like I said I have been watching videos and um, and you know everybody's doing really good and so I will, I'll try to update more often. So I guess that's all, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.